thank you guys so much for watching today. In today's video, I'm doing a glamorous fall eyeshadow look. Um, it's based around this um, color by MAC. It is called Copper Sparkle, and it's their pigment shadows. They're so beautiful. I actually picked up this color a long time ago. They have so many amazing shades, but I'm, like, loving this color for fall. So I'm basing my whole video around this little color right here. Um, I did things a little bit differently today. A lot of times I do... I kind of stick with more nude colors and things like that, but I um, did something a little different. I did um, extended liner in my waterline and extended it in the um, outer parts too. So this is a little bit of a different look for me. I've been trying to look up different things on Pinterest and things like that and seeing what things catch my eye, so I want to try something new. So I hope that you guys will enjoy this video. And also, um, you know, this is a great look for when you guys are going out at night, if you guys have a date night or, you know, something really fun coming up. This would be a great look for a girls night out or anything like that. Also, I have been picking up a lot of new fall things, so I'll be doing a haul video soon. I recently just picked up this really cute textured um, black crop top sweater from Forever 21, so I will be shooting that video coming up soon. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, please keep watching. Okay, chicas, we're going to be starting with the Too Faced Return of the Sexy palette in the color Naive. It's this white kind of shimmery color. We're going to be applying that all over the lid up into the brow bone on each eye. We're going to be taking the color Copper Sparkle from the MAC Pigment Loose Powders. These are very loose, so you want to be careful when applying them and press them right into the lid. There is something by Too Faced called Glitter Glue that I'm going to try that I just recently found out about that helps products like this adhere better to the lid. applying this into the crease. We're going to start all the way from the outer part of the eye and all the way to the inset closest to your nose. We're keeping this line relatively thin. color. I'm sorry, it doesn't have a name in the palette, but it's from the Maybelline The Nudes palette. And just kind of softly blending that dark purple color in just in the um, corner of the eye closest to the nose. Back to our Too Faced palette, the return of the sexy palette, I am taking this dark brown sparkly color and I'm going to be outlining the outer V of my eye. So I'm using the um, lash, like little lash case, I actually broke it in half. You just need a sharp edge, so it would be like a business card or something strong that's going to withhold um, you pressing up against it. So I'm just outlining that V of my eye coming down towards my lash line and I'm going and following my crease all the way into the middle part of the eye. You're not going to go too far in just to the middle and again we're creating a little V and we're going down towards the lash line and in a little bit on your lid. I am now taking a blending brush and just blending those colors together softly and I want to get rid of that harsh line so I'm just softly blending those colors upward as well. So I'm going back and replacing the copper sparkle just to intensify that center color a little bit more after the blending. For eyeliner, I'm using the Maybelline Blackest Black Eye Studio Pop Black Liner. It's a gel liner and it comes with a super cute brush. What you're going to do is create a very thin line as close to the lash line as you can get in the beginning. And then as you come towards the end, the middle end of your lid, you're going to kind of let the brush come up and above the lashes. This technique can be a little bit tricky at first to keep your hand steady. It helps if you pull the eye out. See this line is very, very thin and close to the lash line. As you get towards the outer middle of the eye, we let the brush come above the lash line. 
We're going to be filling that in afterwards, so don't worry. If you need to go back and get a little bit more product on your brush, that's fine. We're now going to create the wing, so move your brush out slightly and then meet your brush with the bottom lash line and fill it in to create a thicker line. And then you're going to go back and fill in the space that was left from before. To be extending our eyeliner, past the inside part of our eye. This brush is perfect for that because it kind of has a pointed edge and this product, like I said, goes on so smooth and it is water resistant. So we're going to just move, when we're applying the liner to the inside part of our lash line, we're just going to extend it a little bit. Revlon Color Stay Black Eyeliner and just lining the inner part of my lash line as well as my waterline. blending brush we are going back to our Too Faced pa palette and we are going to be using the color Innocent which is like this soft brown color and we're going to be applying this to the lower lash line closest to the V and a little bit past the middle part of the eye. This is a really pretty color and it's still going to give it a dramatic look without having it be black. dark brown color that we used on the outer part of our V and to smoke it out a little bit um, on the inset part of our eye. It's that darker color and we're just going to be applying that right to the lower lash line near um, the tear duct. Excess makeup that kind of fell on your face and kind of make those lines nice and sharp. We're going to be applying false lashes, so I'm going to be doing one coat of mascara lightly on my lashes, my natural lashes, before I apply my Ardell lashes. Then I'm going to be applying another coat of mascara once the glue dries and blending all of the lashes together with my lashes and the false lashes and applying another coat of them to the bottom. I am using my favorite mascara, the L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. so bummed that I totally shattered this blush and I literally just got it like a few weeks ago. So I'm still going to use it though because I love it so much. So we're just going to be applying the blush to the apples of our cheeks and moving it upwards towards our cheekbones, the height of our cheekbones. using the color by MAC called Hip and Happy. So I'm just going to be outlining my lips with this color. For lipsticks today, I'm using two MAC colors, one in the color Coral Bliss and one in the color Pretty Please. That bright coral color, I'm going to be just applying to the outside parts of my lips. And then I'm going to be just pressing my lips together. And then I'm going to be applying the Pretty Please, which is this light, light, light pink color to the middle part of my lips. And then pressing my lips together to blend those colors together beautifully. These colors are so pretty by themselves, but I wanted to do something a little bit different today.
Now I'm just removing all the curlers from my hair and I'm going to be taking my big sexy hairspray and spraying my hair all over the place. I love this hairspray. It is a movable hairspray but it definitely holds so I love it. A little fluff fluff of the hair and you are all done. So that's it for today, love bugs. I hope that you enjoyed this fall inspired glamorous eye makeup look. Now that the air is crisp and it's actually feeling like fall is here, I've been like searching out of, like a lot of different looks on Pinterest and playing around with some different things. So this is one of the looks I came up with and I think it's a lot fun and bold and nice for a night out. So I hope you guys enjoy trying it out. And if you haven't already subscribed to my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. It means so much to me. And if you have any questions, you guys can comment here below or you guys can check out my blog at Jenna's Fashion Scoop and you can ask me questions there as well. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.